guys. Victoria here would take the lead and we've got Chaka here. And so we're gonna work on the down command. So there's a couple different ways to teach down. Um, and just like how the sit command, it evolved from food luring to pairing with leash pressure to eventually being just leash pressure, we're gonna do the same thing with the down command. So what that means is we're gonna practice using just guidance with the food luring first to get him into a down position. So much like with the sit, the puppy is gonna follow the food. The important thing with down is that you pattern a like 90 degree angle. So what I mean by that is a lot of people wanna teach their puppy down and they want it to lay down like this and follow the hand. But what happens is often your puppy will stand up to food chase because they've been food chasing you when you move your hand out. So we've got a pattern laying down first. So, let's get you in formation. There we go. I like to start from a sit if I can. And we've got our food here, and we're gonna go straight down, and then out. Yes, and our puppy usually falls. We're gonna release it. Break. I'm gonna back over here. And I'm not using any leash guidance right now. We're just, again, getting into an SIT. And then we can go straight down and out. So it's straight down and then out. Some puppies just plop on the straight down, but occasionally you gotta go straight down and out, and that'll get you your puppy plop. So let me make sure he is on the screen. Yes, good job. So that's a puppy plop, it's went down, right? So then, break. We can start to name it because he's offering it, right? So that means set the leash. Now, yes, the starting of a puppy follows your hand down, right? Yes, we're releasing our thumb so we can have the food. Now we can start to add leash pressure to it. This may not be your first step um, because you've got to pattern down with uh, guidance a lot first, but after a few sessions, you'll probably find that you can start going through the same motions of guidance down, and just pairing leash pressure with it, right? Did you see that? I guided him with my left hand. I lured him with the food on my right hand. leash pressure and food together, right? That's how we get, we're eventually gonna fade out this hand lure and just let leash pressure do the guiding. So you guys have worked on the place command. We're teaching down here on the ground, but I also like to teach it on the place kai because again, it helps the puppy learn how to settle in place, but it also gives them the boundaries to stay within so we can really focus on their body movement. Let's go. So we're gonna get him on a place kai. They've probably been offering the sit on the place cot since you've been working on sit. And now, now, yes, guiding with both. How's your stand bending over a lot? <laughs> the back hurts. Let's go. So we're going to start eventually fading it into just the leash cube. Hey, buddy. Get him up here. So I can create a pulley system with my foot. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can see. So we're gonna create a pulley system with the foot. So your foot, I call it the hokey hokey foot. You're doing this. And the leash is going underneath, like this. You got it, man. Let's go. And to be clear, this is actually not a command that Chalk is very good at. This is probably his like third session ever of the down command, so. And that's over like two months, so. We haven't done any down, so he's learning down just with your puppies too. So, trying to get away from having to do that hand signal down, after a few sessions, we can start moving to this. Down, a little bit of leash pressure. If he needs help, I dropped it, but we can follow down. Yes, right? So he hasn't figured out, let's go. Hasn't figured out quite yet how to yield to pressure um, with just leash guidance. He needs, he's just still looking for that food lure, which is okay. 
It's pressure and release, guys. So it's important to remember that I'm saying the command. Place. I'm creating that little hokey pokey foot. No pressure on his leash yet. Then I'm going to say down. Pressure starts. Yes. And the food comes down. If there was a lot of lag time between when the pressure started him yielding to pressure, then I can kneel over and guide him with my hand. Let's go. As you guys have already been practicing with place, the puppy steps off, we go no, place, and get him back into position. It's going to be the same thing for down. He's going to have probably a pretty easy time holding his down on this cot because very, he has very limited motion because it's kind of a skinny cot and it's got the lips. Let's go. So that's going to help him hold command a little bit better. Place. Down. Yes. You also see I didn't even have to apply pressure that time. Just a little foot cue was enough. Following the word down. So he's doing a pretty good job about holding that down. Nice job, Chaka. Let's, let's see if we can get you to make some mistakes. Break. So He's going to have a harder time just the ground here, right? So he offered an SIT, so let's get him down. Little leash guidance. Yes. Right? Can you see? So he's totally in front of me. He's not in heel position. But we pattern that downward leash pressure needs to lay down. So I save my back by scooting that leash. He might pop up here in a minute because he's not sitting on a place, which he's done a bajillion times. He's actually got to hold on the ground, up, down on the ground, which is a little bit more challenging because he doesn't have the edges like he has with the place. So we break down again the movements, right? He's used to these movements on that place, but on the ground where there's no edges to hold on to, he might want to reposition. Yes, but he's holding it. Oh boy. So, and he's again almost five, five, five months old. So I can do this whole circle pretty easily, right? You guys with the little babies that are like eight, nine, ten weeks old, you're not you're not gonna be able to do this full circle quite yet. You'll be breaking it down into a semi-circles, yes. Adding distance, moving back, yes. Um, you might be able to get to your full circles when he's on that place. But even now, I'm doing a lot of talking, so that's distracting for him. He kind of wanted wants to pivot and follow me. I'm hoping he's gonna break command here in a second, so I can demonstrate how we get him back in position. It's been good, so let me see if I can come up with a distraction. Nope. Down. Yes. Cool. So we marked it with inno. Got him back into the position. Marked it yes. And now, with a small amount of distance distraction, I will pay him. It's really important, guys, to remember that when your puppy breaks command, you don't want to pay them immediately when they get back in. but I'll make a small distraction and challenge him to break. So let's see if he'll do that again. Yes, not falling for my tricks. So the trick before was I just kind of kneeled down over here in a semi-engaging way that we've mimicked with food chasing. Yes, he may not fall for it, he's smart boy. But you saw the one, the one break. Marked it with N-O, he froze, guide it back into the D-O-W-N, mark it with a yes once he gets back into that position, and then we will do a small distraction, whether it's a little bit of distance, whether it's a slight back and forth, whether it's just that pick up the leash and put it back down. If he stays, then we say yes and pay. We want to make sure if he makes a mistake that there is a pretty rapid reward fit. Nope. Yes. We want to make sure there's a pretty rapid reward. 
Yes, following that. But I don't want to pay the mistake or you'll get a puppy who feels like doing push-ups all the time. So he broke the knee in there, you know, get him back in, marked it with yes, stepped away to create distance, stepped right back in to pay him again. But I, I just, that's a really important piece. We got to keep him successful, but we don't want to pay for breaking position. Now, something to remember, guys, um, again, if your puppy is making mistake after mistake after mistake, and you're just no, 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 over and over, you're probably moving too fast for your puppy's capabilities. So we want to keep them successful. So if you find you're trying to work your way up to doing that full circle around your puppy, and they keep breaking every time you get like just a quarter of the way, then don't go any farther. Go back and forth between this little quarter Yes, pay. Okay. Go back to the front and break it down into tiny, tiny segments. We want it to be 95% yes, 5% no. So if you feel like the session is getting a lot more nope, 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 the distractions are too high. If the, the session's getting nope, 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 that means the distraction's probably too high. Your puppy might be getting tired if you're at the end of the session. That happens too. We're getting there with this guy. Um, but generally, if it's nope, 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 your distractions are probably too high, you're asking if you're moving a little too fast, potentially, or your puppy's running out of gas. So those are things to remember. So break it down into small steps and work through stuff. It's important to keep them successful. We do want to have conversations if they've made a mistake to guide them back, but you shouldn't feel like it's mistake after mistake after mistake because then the puppy's not learning. They're just, this is real sloppy. So just hope that that makes sense. So that's a little bit about the down command. Again, we keep the leash on. We mark no, we get him to lay down. I want you guys to work on down on the place. Chop here. Place. Pull away. So that you can start getting down. Cool. So I said down, I pointed, nothing. So what does that mean? Down. Yes. Just that little cue with the leash. That's why the leash is important. And it also helps us get away from constantly having to do this, or having to point our hands, that little bit of foot guidance saves my back, but it's also gonna help us later down the road when our hands need to be doing other things. So, but we're trying to pattern a D-O-W-N on place. That's all. Place. We're trying to pattern a DOW in on place, so place is a calm location. Um, but you can also teach down on the ground with no place. They're very similar, and they're used to help your puppy be calm. This will help the puppy ground himself on place. But we also want to practice down just on the ground ground too. Just remember, the ground ground is going to be able to probably break a little bit more because there's a lot less guidance of being in the boundaries. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.